Hello, this is a video presentation of editing CR2 format pictures in Digital Photo Professional 4 software. We'll now move on to the second picture. This one is obviously overexposed, just like the previous one, but we can see that there are some uh, colors in the blue still maintained, so that's good. So let's go back again to the uh, advanced gamma adjustment and we'll remove, well, we'll dampen down the highlights, so we'll bring down the highlights and you can see immediately that that looks better. We don't need to bring up the shadows, in fact on the gamma adjustment tool in here you can see that well, there's a lot of empty space in here so we can crush the blocks a lot and we'll bring up the contrast a bit that looks good and to be honest not much needs to be done um, in here we will maybe change the color temperature a bit um, to warm it up there it is that's how I remember it that's how it was um, and we'll increase the saturation as well to make the sky a little bit more blue but do, don't overdo it because soon the color will be artificial, it won't resemble anything like a real sky, it will look generic. So um, you don't want that. Let's maybe, maybe, yeah, reduce the crashing with the blacks just a little bit, and brighten up the image. There it is. Now maybe this. Bring out the shadows just a bit more. And yeah. And I think it's fine. So if you look at the original picture, it is much better than it was. So let's try to apply the same recipe to this picture, because it's very similar in the overall exposure. Let's right click on the picture, copy recipe, and basically paste it. There, perfect, you see? I'll, I'll just leave it as it is because it looks good. Next one. This one is really nice. Um, I, liked, I liked the composition here. Uh, it could have been more zoomed in, but that was probably all I could do with my camera. So you see all those sheep, they're actually following a jeep going through the field at this point. Um, the problem with this picture is obviously the burned out sky and the background of the mountains is also very very uh, hard to, to see. Um, and the picture overall is overexposed. So the first thing we're going to do is reduce the, the brightness um, and that helps quite a lot right from the start. Then we're going to go to our um, gamma adjustment and the advanced section and reduce the highlight even more. That gives us some of detail on the mountains. Unfortunately, the sky is, um, is lost. But we're not going to use the picture in sky and shape, so we can go right to the crop section and simply select the part that we're most interested in, uh, which would be this. Let's leave a little bit of a sky because um, for the composition purposes, but other than that, uh, we're good. Uh, we can use... Um, the uh, aspect ratio predetermined fixed uh, values uh, if we want to match let's say a video file so for this this part uh, we're good uh, we're going to use the 16 and 9 because it's the video I'm going to be doing in that kind of aspect ratio so that's good um, we don't need all the grass at the bottom, we don't need all the burnt out sky we're just going to take a bit of it and that's it and you don't need to um, do anything, you just move to another section and now you see it's done. So um, let's go and um, put some distance between us and the burnout area. Now obviously you see that the picture is cropped because there is no data uh, in the higher section of the histogram, but still moving that bar here will give you some details back. Now we're going to need to brighten it up a bit. 
and there's not much more we can do with this picture. Um, we can go to the saturation part and uh, let's say add about 25%. And I think we're not going to do much more with this one. If you look at the um, at this picture, there's no details here at all, so not worth salvaging. Let's move on to the next one. This is the picture number. Well, they don't have numbers here, but it's uh, 1438. Uh, this one is not bad. Um, uh, it's obviously too dark, so we can um, up the shadows a bit. Yeah. We're going to increase the overall luminosity of this one. Yep. And with every luminosity increase, you need to increase the color saturation as well. So. Um, Let's do that, but first, um, because the overall temperature of this picture is not something I like, I'm going to increase that to make it more vivid, because there's a lot of green and yellow. The, the sign is actually yellow, so you don't see that in the original picture. If we increase the temperature, that will show you that, and then just increase the saturation. Don't overdo it. Actually, with the greens, I always tend to go for more natural green, uh, more yellowish, um, and the yellow will go back to the green but I'm going to even reduce the green saturation just a tiny bit so that it doesn't strike you as being colored. So if you go to this one, now you can see uh, the difference. And I'm going to leave it at that. And here, um, well, this picture is really overexposed. So let's reduce the brightness quite a bit. Yep. Again, color temperature, it's not exactly what I wanted it, that's more like it, so we are increasing the color temperature to 6700 uh, 6, 6, Kelvin. That's probably what I noticed for Canon PowerShot uh, G7X for like outdoor pictures. Um, that's kind of like my sweet spot where I usually want to go. Now you can see this picture is really narrow in terms of uh, histogram uh, use, it's, there's no colors and uh, not that much dark areas, not that much uh, bright areas, it's just one band, so let's maybe extend it a bit and yeah. Um, not much to do here, I'm not even going to increase the saturation uh, too much because that would be um, not natural, I'm gonna move you to red a bit, make it more Autumn. You see, if I go all the way, I can make it look like it's really um, late in the s summer. But that's the look I'm going for. And yeah, that's it. I'm um, not sure I'm going to use this picture either, but yeah. Now this picture, I, I love the, uh, the composition of it, as in this giant tree that you can really see the scale because of the people that are in front of it. Um, but the problem is it's terribly overexposed. I mean, it's it's practically beyond salvageable. So again, we're going to drop down the brightness way down, and only now can we see that there are actually some mountains in the back. We're not going to get the sky back, no way, but we can back, uh, get some details back from the, uh, from the foreground. So I'm going to increase the shadows just a tiny bit, reduce the highlight way down, and now we can get a clear backdrop of the mountains, that is good. Let's check out the color temperature, it will be 6700 Kelvins. Yep, that makes it more kind of green, maybe even up it a bit. Yep, that's even better, 7000, 7400, that's more like it. Um, <clears throat> and just increase the saturation just a tiny bit. Now you see on this side it's getting too too green, it's not natural anymore. So I'm going to move the green to yellow a bit and reduce the saturation just a tiny bit. So if you look at the original, terrible, hurt your eyes. Now, now that's that's something we can work with. One more thing we have to look in here is that this picture is out of focus. You can see all these chromatic aberrations around their uh, legs, the, the, the highlights sort of like, a, like an echo. Um, so we have this section, 
um, image detail section and we can reduce the chroma chrominance noise um, you can just select you can see here in this section the chrominance noise the, if we reduce it now in this case it doesn't really do that much unfortunately um, and luminance noise Sometimes I go all the way just to see what the effect intends to do. And you can see it in here as well. That's not that's that may be a look I would go for, like a dreamy picture. Um you might, remember this is a full scale, so um your viewers will not see it like that. But they will see it more like that. Which in which case it doesn't make that much different at all difference at all um, which which setting you have set but if you're good in the details you'll be good overall so let's just uh, drop it down yeah because that is good then chrominance noise all the way unfortunately on this one it just doesn't work and it happens sometimes uh, the picture is slightly out of focus so we're going to um, sharpness, go to sharpness, and we just increase the sharpness just a tiny bit. Um, now the focus of your viewers will probably be somewhere in the middle of the tree because the first thing you see is this tree and then you drop your, um, your eyes drop to the people because they're kind of a prominent detail. Um, small but still drawing your attention um, amidst all the green that is in the in the background so we need to make sure this part this section is as, as sharp as possible so let's go back to this tool and expect this thing you can see it in here on the window sub window if you click this button you can just point your mouse and see which uh, inspect close up the sharpness of the picture Unfortunately, there is not much we can do in here, but it's still the sharpness did its job. So we're going to leave it at that. Now here's a picture of um, of a smiley face kind of wood, as you can see here with the stone on it. Uh, it's pretty nice, but it's uh, a little bit too dark and hard to actually see what's what the, what's the picture is about. So um, we're going to go again to the um, gamma adjustment tool. If we click auto, I never tried it again. Yeah, it did this job quite all right. Actually, I'll, I'm gonna leave that. And what you did, what it did is actually what I do in the first place, as you can see. So up the shadows, reduce the highlights, make it more flat, to be honest. Um, I am going to, however, increase the brightness now just a tiny bit. Yep, just that. Let's move the color temperature to 7300. No, that's too much. 6700. Yep, that's more like it. And now increase the saturation of orange. That is it. And maybe green as well. Move green to. Yep. So now. A real big difference but I see the highlights are getting burned out in here and even the tool tells you something like that you can see those tiny little dots in here that's what hurts your eyes really so um, we're gonna increase increase this thing and reduce it again paying attention not to burn out anything yep because this part is really where the picture is about, so you need to make sure that whatever is in focus <clears throat> and whatever is the um, primary subject of the picture is actually lit well. So you don't care if this is too dark or this is too dark because this is the section you want to look at or you want the viewer to be looking at. So if you help him using the lighting, um, that will be that will be even better, right? Let's go over to the details section see how it looks yeah yeah it's acceptable it's good let's move on <laughs> <laughs>